Hello, welcome to lesson number 75. I am Teacher Ibrahim. Today we are going to look at hemolysis and cremation. Still under cell physiology, and these ones are still associated with the process of osmosis. The word hemolysis has been obtained from the word hemoglobin and that is what gives us the first four letters hem from the word hemoglobin then the word lysis have been derived from the word lice which means to tear to rupture or to break down therefore hemolysis refers to bursting of the red blood cells when placed in a hypotonic solution but before we get into that, I want us to get to know the background of this process. What causes it? How, how does it happen? Inside the cells, there are some structures called the vacuoles and the cytoplasm. The vacuoles contain highly concentrated salts and sugar solutions. And the same to cytoplasm, which may also be containing some traces of solutions in them. Since it is a solution which is highly concentrated, when this cell has been placed in another solution, then we'll be having those two different regions. There is a region of high concentration and a region of low concentration which is actually based on the concentration of the solution into which it has been placed. Or if it is distilled water, then that region becomes of a low concentration, while the region inside the cell becomes the region of a high concentration. When that happens, in this case whereby it has been placed in distilled water, then we'll be having the inner side of the cell being the region of high concentration, while the outer side of the cell being the region of low concentration. That will definitely trigger the process of osmosis to take place because there will be build up of what we call osmotic potential. What is going to happen? water molecules will be drawn into the cells in that process called osmosis then the cell will take more water in order to balance the concentration between the outside part of the cell and the inside part of the cell remember the cover of the cell is actually a membrane in this case we were talking about the red blood cell the cover is a, a cell membrane which is actually semi-permeable it will let water to move into the cell and as that continues the cell becomes bigger and bigger until it can swell no more then what is going to happen then this red blood cell is going to rupture or it's going to to break down and therefore or you can say it is going to burst this process is called hemolysis and that's why I say that hemolysis is the bursting of the red blood cells when placed in distilled water. I have a diagrammatic illustration here that I want us to go through and see how it happens, see how the process of hemolysis takes place before we move to the second one called cremation. These two diagrams shows how the red blood cells appear to be when subjected to different treatments. These first ones here, as you can see them, have been placed in an isotonic solution and that is the shape that they are going to have. As I told you earlier, isotonic solutions are the solutions which have the same concentration. Therefore, here it implies that these first red blood cells over here were placed in a solution which have the same concentration to that that is found inside these red blood cells. As a result, nothing is happening and they maintain their shape which is described as biconcave shape. On the other hand, we have these ones here which shows what happens to the red blood cells when placed in 
hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution refers to lowly concentrated solution. Therefore, it means that the concentration of solutes which are found inside the red blood cells are very high compared to that found in the solution. An example here, we can talk of these cells being placed in distilled water. What happens as a result is the process of osmosis which will take place. Hence, these red blood cells are going to absorb more water into them. As they continue to absorb more water, it will make them to increase in size, swell, and eventually these red blood cells will burst out. That process is referred to as hemolysis. Do you know the reason as to why they are bursting out? Definitely, they are bursting because they only have the cell membrane. They don't have the cell wall. Yet, the cell membrane that they are having is very soft. Hence, it cannot withstand the pressure which is generated in them as a result of absorbing too much water. That process whereby they burst is referred to as hemolysis. Yes, as you saw it in hemolysis, the same process is involved here, but here it is the reverse. We call this process crenation. Crenation is the shrinking of the red blood cells when placed in hypertonic solution. When the cell has been placed into a hypertonic solution, remember there are two different regions here. There is a region inside the cell and there is a region outside the cell that is in the solution. Since there is a very high concentration in uh, that region found in the outside part of the cell that is in the solution, osmotic pressure will be built up. This osmotic pressure that builds up will cause water to be absorbed from the cells into that solution. And when that process takes place, it is going to cause the cell to shrink. So the membranes are shrinking so as to occupy the vacuum which was left by the water which was drawn outside the cell. And therefore, this is going to make the cell to lose its shape and the physiological processes of the cell membrane may be reduced and when that happens the cell may end up dying because even the pores that are found on the membrane of that cell may be blocked up. I want us to look at this uh, grammatic illustration so that we can be able to understand how the process of crenation take place. Crenation. Naturally, this is how the red blood cells will look like. In this shape I told you earlier that is referred to as biconcave shape. While this second one is showing how the red blood cells will look like when placed in hypertonic solution. Remember that hypertonic solution is the solution which have more solute molecules than solvent molecules. In other words, it is a highly concentrated solution. Why do you think these red blood cells will have this kind of shape in case they are placed in a hypertonic solution? The reason is obvious. As much as the red blood cells could be having this biconcave shape in their natural state, when they are placed in hypertonic solution which is highly concentrated, the process of osmosis will take place, whereby these red blood cells will lose water into that external environment containing that highly concentrated solution. When that happens, the membrane tend to shrink in order to occupy the vacuum which was left by the water molecules that were drawn out of the cell and therefore they have this kind of shape which is described as crenated cells. 
so that process through which red blood cells lose water when placed in hypertonic solution is called crenation we call those cells crenated cells or we may also call them shriveled cells you can even see there's an arrow here showing the direction through which the water molecules move that is from the cell to the outside environment that is in that solution which is highly concentrated when the red blood cells have been crenated through this process they may end up dying because the membrane may not perform its function properly it's denatured it may lead to death of these cells we call it denaturation of cells thank you for watching the video please remember to do me two favors the first one subscribe to my channel and the second one like the video if possible press that notification bell so that in case i upload another video you will be the first one to be notified thank you